Washington is a buzz after another election. The headlines herald a second term, but a day later, this headline. So what will this election mean for America and specifically business and industry? These people turned out to get some answers from the National Public Policy Group from Polsonelli Schuchert. Comprised of former members of Congress and senior policy advisors, this team has more than 100 years of combined Washington policy arena experience and serves as a voice and advocate for business. The audience interfaces with uh, the Congress and the agencies all the time, but the fact that they came to listen to Jim Davidson and Kenny Holsoff and Julius Hobson and uh, Andy Wright was really gratifying uh, about the quality and the depth that we have in our public policy group. Led by Jim Davidson, they know how the process works on Capitol Hill. Automatic spending cuts and tax increases are set to go into effect with sequestration at the end of the year. But this group feels Congress will avoid the fiscal cliff. They're going to have to come together in kumbaya as much as it's going to kill them uh, to do that. But I don't see, uh, I don't see the defense sequestration happening uh, the way it currently would happen if nobody did anything. Hobson's colleagues agree, including Martin Frost, who served 13 terms as a Democratic representative from Texas. Here's what I think could happen. Um, I think it's likely that uh, Congress will find a way to uh, delay the effects of sequestration and perhaps even to extend uh, the tax cuts, the Bush-era tax cuts, that are set to expire on the 31st of December. The polsonelli sugared Public Policy Group is bipartisan. It also includes Republican Kenny Holsoff, who served six terms in the House. He believes Congress may be ready to take on some of the tough issues like tax reform. I think it would be huge in a, in a positive way. It would be great for the president. I think it would be something of substance that members themselves uh, could go back home if you can thread the needle. And look, it, it would be... It, it, it would be difficult. It will be difficult. But that, to me, is, is the greatest opportunity that I see. The polsonelli sugar team spelled out a possible bipartisan scenario for the lame duck session of Congress. They believe both sides could come together on a plan to postpone sequestration, which is set to hit on January 1st. They could also provide a down payment on spending cuts and tax increases. There's a chance they may repeal the alternative minimum tax. And they could increase revenues from 15.3% of GDP to perhaps 18 or 19% of GDP. On energy, there could be short-term extender bills keeping in place production tax credits for wind energy. Those credits are set to expire at the end of the year. And the Keystone Pipeline is also likely to be green-lighted. I think that uh, the Keystone XL Pipeline just simply makes sense in in every aspect, and I expect that the administration will approve it uh, in the first quarter of 2013. I think the big question on Keystone is, are there going to be um, requirements that come along with that approval? Uh, things that will make it more difficult to build this pipeline and future pipelines. The audience had questions about possible changes on committees on Capitol Hill, as well as pending legislation, what's likely to be passed and what could get bogged down. The range of questions and issues shows why public policy is so important, because unlike Vegas, what happens in Washington doesn't stay in Washington. Public policy issues affect clients from New York to California, and becoming aware of those public policy issues and helping clients understand how to respond to them has been one of our major goals, roles, and challenges. You know, we have a tremendous team here. We're bipartisan, we're bicameral, uh, and you know, we're serious people who not only can give clients access, which I think is always important, but we have people here who are capable of getting into the weeds with our clients so that we actually become part of our client's team. We understand their business, we understand their issues, and we're able to give them a strategy uh, going forward that, uh, that will help them solve their problem.